Hi guys, welcome to this short video about how to get rid of background noise if you're using desktop microphone on your PC. Here I am on Windows 11. I'm using this uh, USB microphone, desktop microphone. And I guess you can hear that it's very loud because I have a fan activated pretty close. And so I wanted to show you how you can get rid of this background noise actually live. I mean, I'm not talking here about recording and then using a tool and processing it and have then clear audio. Here I'm talking about a solution which you can use real time also for online chat, gaming, whatsoever. So here we have my sound settings. You can see that's my microphone. And what we have to do, we have to download and install the crisp software that's a free tool that's the website that's crisp.ai here you see the pricing and you can see you can use it free forever up to 60 minutes per day that's quite a lot of course if you're using that on a professional level then it's highly recommended to use the pro subscription but here i'm using the free showing the free and how this works i have downloaded this about one month ago and in the first seven days you have the pro anyway at least as far as i can remember and then they had a countdown in the software and so i was worried if i couldn't use it anymore after these seven days so i wanted to wait for seven days until i make this video so you can see that after longer time i guess that's what you want to see here and so i have done the installation you can see when i open that it activates the software and so you can see it has this counter with 60 minutes which is left but when you open it and activate it here it doesn't mean that it's already active we have to do some change in the setting and so i'm going to show you that and so now when we open that again when we have the crisp tool installed and active we can see we get an additional microphone in the system sound input but it's also very important to choose that microphone in the software which you are using so for example in the bandicam when you're screen recording or your chat software or whatsoever don't keep using your original microphone because it won't have any change. It will be still exactly the same microphone. But what you have to do now is to choose the crisp microphone. So the software will install the crisp as a microphone and this is what you have to choose. Choose this and click on OK. And after that it should use the original microphone with the crisp cleaning your audio. So again, I repeat these two important steps after installing the crisp. The first thing is in the crisp, you have to select your original microphone. Make sure that's the original microphone which you have been using before in your software. Put it here, activate it here, but in the software which you are using to record or doing the chat, you are not using or not selecting your original microphone anymore, but here you are using the crisp microphone and now it should be free of noise at least this is the promise a lot of people are happy with it it's recommended as one of the best solutions and so this is also what i have for you i don't have anything else apart from that unfortunately it's not perfect but i think it does a good job what's very important here that's my really big issue here and it's really important to be aware of that no matter if you're using it in automatic startup when you boot your system or if you start it manually it will always try to use also crisp as a speaker and so if you are listening to something and in a sudden it sounds really weird and you have the impression that your speakers or headphones are damaged or there's something wrong with your audio make sure that you double check with your speaker setting here that it's turned off and not turned on here on crisp because i think it's really bad it doesn't do a really good job on the speaker i mean it will reduce the noise but it will remove also all the 
bass sound so it's not really funny to hear when crisp is turned on as a speaker so we can of course uh, shut down the software here when you click on the system tray and then uh, right click on it and then close it and after that you will have back your normal sound so that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video by the way of course you can see here i'm recording with the crisp so you can definitely see or hear the difference to before when i've been just using my normal microphone and so i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or other solutions then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time